Hey, how's it going folks? E.T. here with another iMovie for iPad tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to do picture in a picture using one of the backgrounds that's included with iMovie. So let's go ahead and open up iMovie here. I have mine in my toolbar down here at the bottom. So let's go ahead and open that up. And let me close this and I'll create a brand new project for you. All right, so creating a new project, we just tap on the movie icon on the bottom right corner. And we don't want to use any of the content here, so let's just go ahead and create movie. Okay, now in your media bin area, we're going to go ahead and tap on backgrounds. And let's look for something interesting and fun. Let's go ahead and go with this blue triangle diamond looking thing. And we'll tap on the background we want, and then hit plus to add it to the timeline. Okay, it looks like it defaults to six seconds, so let's make it a little bit longer. We'll tap on it, and we'll use our finger to kind of drag it longer and it's about 30 well, let's make it about 15 seconds or so okay now i want to decrease the size of the timeline itself but not the actual link so let me go ahead and pinch and zoom so i can see more of it there we go okay now let's tap on the media back button here and let's go find a piece of video but first let me adjust my clip to where i want my video to appear so I'm going to look for a piece of video here. Let's go to all recent ones. And let's just go ahead and use this one here. So you tap on it, but then you'll hit the three dots here. And then we're going to go ahead and do picture in a picture. So what that's actually going to do is where our tape head was, this skimmer thing here, it'll place that video at the top. Okay, so now we have picture in a picture, but we want to make it a little bit bigger and we want to center it. So. We're going to tap to highlight that clip there. And then I'm going to tap on that little plus looking thing here. And now we can actually zoom it in and out by doing a pinch and zoom with our fingers. And we'll get it pretty close to where we want it right there. And we can move it around. If you need a border, you can tap the first icon at the bottom there. That turns it on and off. And the icon at the top, I don't really find that useful. I usually just use the bottom one for the border and the plus. Once you tap the plus itself, you have that full control that you need. You can move it around, zoom it. Pinch and zooming within the actual uh, picture in the picture is what that top one does. And, and I find it not very useful for myself anyways. Okay. All right. So let's tap on the plus again. Let's get it lined up where we, ha where we had it and where we like it. Again, we're pinching and zooming with the thumb and your index finger. Once you get the size you want, then you can use your index finger to kind of roll it around and, and put it exactly where you want. Make it a little bit smaller so we can see some of the background. There we go. And just trying to center it up pretty good. All right. Then you can just tap anywhere on your screen in the timeline, and it's stuck there. So, so what we have here is we have picture in a picture kind of where we want it. Our background's a little bit too long, so let me tap on that and bring it in with my finger. So it starts and ends exactly where my video clip does so let's try that now there we go and we still have our 11 second clip but we now have a picture in a picture with a wonderful interesting looking background and of course you can move that around where you want one of the limitations of iMovie is you cannot do more than one layer so you're pretty much stuck with with either an image or a text but uh that's pretty much what we got here there are ways to, to hop through some hoops and get more than one, but you'll have to make your video, export it, and then re-import it into a new project. That way you can get more than one layer. But that's for another video. Anyways, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you next time. Peace and aloha.